The chest supported row is a favorite exercise of mine for early uh, rowing variations. A lot of beginners can't get into a nice hinge position and maintain that lower back to execute a row. Also, for guys who are advanced or very, very strong, being able to hold this position without your low back being compromised is a ton of stress. So this can be a great option to, to unload that low back a little bit if you're in the middle of a heavy deadlift cycle or doing good mornings or RDLs or other exercises that challenge your low back. You don't have to do bent rows. So a couple things we want to see happen here. Number one, we want good movement of the shoulder blades. So as we reach down with the bells, I want to use that weight to facilitate a nice reach. Second, we don't want shoulders right in the ear. So if you find that you have a tendency to be tense, over exaggerate and then relax. And that will really allow you to drop the shoulders. Sometimes if we're here and we try to pull down, people cannot really understand what they need. So go into the problem and then you're able to relax out of it. When we row, the upper arm and the shoulder blade need to move together. So that means for us, we're gonna stop about elbow even with the body because the shoulder doesn't have a whole lot more room to retract or move back. What happens then if we continue to row is that the shoulder tilts forward and we start to grind away at the capsule just a little bit. We also take some of the tension out of the target muscles. So for all practical purposes, pull those shoulders back and elbows even with the body is a good setup. From the front view or when you're looking down at my back, you should see like an arrow. So my body being the middle of the arrow and my arms being the head. Okay, to achieve this position, it often helps if you think about pulling the weights apart as you go. That will allow the shoulders to retract and drop as well as the elbows to get into the correct position. Here's a couple reps. When you set up, watch out for a lot of extension. It's easy to get that big arch in the low back. So we can either pull out of it and maintain that by using abs or you can bring your knees forward just because it makes it harder to extend. On a typical bench, the arms are actually gonna hang, so you're not gonna get that relaxation at the bottom. These kettlebells are just a little bit tall, so I'm not getting a full range of motion. It's just one thing to be aware of, but that is your chest-supported row.